That's just popular culture once again, and th there is no more iconic hero uh, of the 20th century than Superman. Um, he's become a uh, shorthand or, uh, for just idealism, uh, Americanism, uh, justice, and so considering that the world today is so perverted and, and, and immoral, to some, to some extent. Uh, I like to take the image of Superman and put it in a more contemporary and, and in my idea, proper context. with Superman, I, I, I do, because uh, he was an alien, and even though he, he uh, does a lot of good things, there's always a loneliness about him, I think, and I feel alienated and very alone a lot of the time, alienated because of my mental illness, maybe alienated in America because I'm black, um, so that I can relate to feelings of um, doing the best that I can, but also feeling a sense of loneliness and alienation, which mm -hmm. I think he may feel. I feel like a lonely, lonely dude in my fortress of solitude. solitude. Loving someone else is one, one thing I dare to do. And now I have lots of time. Lots of time. I'm no longer the first time I came here, I wept because it reminded me so much of my childhood home. My mother was an artist, and she had decorated the childhood home. Well, there was one room was a garden room. Mm -hmm. One room was, uh, every room had a different theme. One room was the mirrored room. So when I came to the Living Museum, there's a garden room. There's a room full of televisions. There's a room of, and so I just, I just walking through it, it just made me weep. Mm -hmm. I was like, why? Wow. I felt like I'd come home. Mm -hmm. You know, I was very far from home at that time. I was very deep and very, at the very beginnings of a long and arduous uh, hospitalization. But I felt a sense of homecoming when I came here. It's been my home ever since.